How's it going everyone, guys and gals? Hope everyone's having a good day. So uh, today I wanted to uh, talk about doing more and saying less. Uh, it's very tempting to want to tell people what you're gonna do. I'm not talking about your weekend plans. I'm talking about specific goals such as I want to lose X amount of weight, I want to build muscle, or even in terms of career, I want to go to college, I want to do this, I want to do that. There's nothing wrong with having these uh, concrete goals and trying to attain them, that's what keeps you motivated. But there can be a trap where you tend to do a lot of the talking without backing it up. You know, that's where this uh, topic of this video of uh, doing more and saying less. It's very tempting to want to tell people and get excited. I'm gonna lose this weight. I'm gonna lose this weight. I'm gonna become this. I'm gonna become an architect. But until you actually do it, it's just all a bunch of fluff. Well, now, like I said, there's nothing wrong with stating what you want to do. But if you if you say something, your at least for me, your word is everything. And this isn't to say that. You may change career paths, and which is fine, or you may have different types of goals, health and fitness goals, as you go along the journey. That's completely fine. But when it, but when it becomes a pattern in which you're constantly saying something and then not following through, and the actions are not um, mimicking the end result or the journey to the end result, that's where uh, things can get a little bit, a little bit uh, dicey, so to speak. Uh, the reason why I wanted to talk about this is uh, also when you do more doing and less less talking, the actual result will speak for itself. So if you're wanting to lose 50 pounds, trust me, if you keep your mouth shut and you lose that weight, you don't need to say anything. People are going to notice and people are, are going to start complimenting you they're gonna know and your actions will do all the talking so and same thing with your career or people that are successful you don't need to flaunt it you don't you don't need to try to prove to to other people now people that do that are usually the ones that are pretty uh, insecure and are trying to fill a void for whatever inadequacies other inadequacies they have in their life uh, that being said, uh, if you have a successful career and you have a good life and you have a house, you have a wife, a husband, good health, stuff like this, uh, this is stuff that you don't need to keep talking about it because the end result will speak for itself and the actions that you do will speak for itself. So that's my uh, quick uh, perspective on that. Uh, in a quick uh, conclusion, the actions just speak louder than the words. That's just what it comes down to. So if you start to uh, notice a pattern in which you get really excited and you want to tell someone that you're going to do this, you're going to do this, you're going to do that, and then you're finding out that you keep falling short, you may want to take a step back, pump the brakes slightly, and maybe just resist the temptation for the time being to even say anything. Uh, just keep about your business, keep your, stay focused, and start chipping away at your goal. Then when you know you, you're getting close to that goal, some people may notice, some people may not, but if you're doing it for yourself, then who cares, right? And the end result, you'll be fulfilled and if you want people to notice, trust me, they will notice. When you lose X amount of weight or you put on muscle or you're successful, you're doing this, you're happy, people are going to notice. And if people that don't notice, who cares? Like I said, you're doing it for yourself. You don't need to do any talking. The end result's going to be pretty, pretty sweet and uh, you won't have to even do much talking. So that's my time. Uh, less uh, talking and more doing. That's it, guys. Bye.